The Accessibility Checker checks the documents for content that people with disabilities might find difficult to read. And you can check it one of two ways. You can either come up here and click on the Review tab, go to the Accessibility group and click on Check Accessibility. Opens up the task pane over to the right and it doesn't like repeated blank characters. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at any one of these by clicking on it. And let me scroll up. And it highlights that. Well, what's it highlighting? Let's come up here, click on the Home tab, go to the Paragraph group, turn on the codes. And I don't know if you can see it, but we've got two spaces, then a hard return or a paragraph, and then another paragraph. So what it's trying to tell me is that screen readers can read blank characters as blank, and it can be very irritating, especially if there are multiple blank characters. And so I can understand getting rid of the two spaces here and trying to minimize any extra blank characters. And whew, this one's a total violation. Let's take a look at 22 characters. Uh, okay, click on it again. There we go. Oh yeah, so let me click here. When I'm at the bottom of page 3, instead of doing a page break, I just hit enter, enter, enter several times to get to the next page. So yeah, that can be very irritating. So there's one of the reasons why you want to use shortcuts, at least if you're working with people who have disabilities, that yeah, it can be very irritating to have to go, let's see, oh, that's blank, that's blank, that's blank. Instead, if I just go ahead and let me click and drag and delete all that, and if that's got to be on the next page, then remember the shortcut keys to insert a page break is Control Enter. And I certainly got rid of a lot of irritating blanks there when the person with disabilities is reading it. They only have to read, well, maybe one or two blanks here, as opposed to the 22. Phew, enough with that. Cut, splice, and edit. And let me go ahead and close out. If you're backstage, click on File. Info is selected by default, so just come down here and check for issues, and you also get it there as well. When you click on Check Accessibility, it takes you to the front stage and opens up the task pane, and the 22 characters that were there are now gone. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.